I'm Naya Lee and watch my video to learn how to make a graduation stole. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and share. In this video, you will learn how to cut the fabric, sew the fabric, and then decorate it. So to get started, I need my white satin and I need my gold so I can make a beautiful stole that has a two piece. So the first thing I'm gonna do is take my white. I'm going to do five inches for this one so I can have a half inch seam allowance. So normally, it would, so I could at least have four inches of writing space. So I'll do five. And then also, I think I only have, let me see how much, I may only have a yard. I need a total of at least like 70 inches. So this one, I do have it on here, which is great. So I can do one piece for the white. So I'll just fold it. And fold it so I can cut it. Get rid of the salvage area and then cut. And like I said, I'm going to do five inches. I'm gonna use this as my weight in my sewing room. I'm gonna cut off the salvage area because I don't I'm gonna use this. I got rid of that and since I am dealing with this length I'm going to use one of my long rulers I'm going to keep my weight there I'm going to use the my grid that I have on here and I'm going to go over one, two, three, four, five, right here. So I'll just move this down. Then I'm gonna line it up with the grid over here. And I'm gonna use my rotary cutter. It'll make it a little bit easier. So here we go. I open that up. All I'm gonna do is just hold this down in position, go and press against the left. Then I press it so it can lock back. And there I go. That was so easy. There goes that one piece. I'm gonna set it to the side. Now the gold, I know I don't have the length that I need. And that's fine. I'll just have to cut it twice, two pieces. So here is what I'm doing for the gold, because I've been using this. That's how I know I don't have it, <laughs> but that's okay. All I'm gonna do is see what I do have lengthwise. If I go here, this is about 60 inches. A little bit less than that. 
so that I know what I'm working with. So all I'm really gonna do is to cut it twice. So I know I'm gonna have to cut it and fold it. So I'm gonna have to go back five inches twice. That's how I'm gonna solve this issue. And I'm using my grid, one, two, three, four, five, and then the selvage, because I'm gonna cut that off too. Matter of fact, let me get rid of that now. I need some of this. I'm gonna take my long ruler, kind of move it out the way. Let me just get rid of some of this excess fabric I have. Because it even is a little short, but if I cut it twice, it'll be fine. So let me get rid of the salvage area. That way I don't have to cut too much. I'm gonna use my weight. Use this ruler for a straight edge. Put the weight up there. And then normally I would fold it again, but it's a little funky when I get down there. As a matter of fact, since it's long. There we go. So I have to move it because this piece is pretty long. And whenever I move, I close it just for safety reasons. All right, so I got rid of that. Now I can start folding it in half and cutting my two pieces. So I'm just moving some of this out the way. Some half here. And I'm just gonna fold it. Well, no, I don't wanna fold it in half. Not yet. What I will do is just move it down here Make sure I'm on the grid. Make sure everything's lined up with this 18. And I have my weight here because I have a lot of fabric hanging and I don't want it to shift too much. I'm gonna make sure the bottom piece and the top piece is lined up to the 18. This one I'm gonna cut wider than five. Normally it's six, so I'm gonna do seven for a half inch seam allowance. So let me come over here and see where am I gonna stop? One, two, three, four, five. Line it up on the 11. All right, there we go. And it's a little bit extra down here and that's fine because I'll fix that when I sew the pieces together.
here goes one piece. Let me go ahead and get the other piece. That fits in just so I can just move it down. to the After you have your two pieces cut, the first thing I'm going to do is iron it. So let's go ahead and iron. After I'm finished ironing, I'm going to first sew together my two gold pieces since I had to do it in two. I'm gonna at least put these together, pin it, and take it right on over to the sewing machine and sew the right sides together. So that means the pretty shiny sides are together. Okay, so now it's time to sew the two accent pieces together. And I'm just gonna go with a half inch seam allowance. I'm gonna back stitch it and then bring it on in. So now that um, I have both pieces, I have the white piece that is going to be the white satin. It's going to be the center of the stole. And then I have the accent piece. So I want to find where the center is. So I'm just going to put them together and then find the center. And let me just mark that with a pen. One of the pens. That's the center. And right here. Okay. The reason why is because I have two pieces because that just one of these was not long enough. So now that I marked the center, I can match up with the center and start pinning everything. So now that that is there, and what I will do when I go to sew it, I will open, I would typically like to open it up. Open up that seam. So I do that now. I'm going to start pinning. You could press it open, but I think if I just open it up and pin it, I'll be fine. Okay. So that's opened. Now I need to take the center and put the pretty sides together. 
So I'm going to pin one side, twist it a little, but that's fine. There we go. You are my center. And then I'm going to mark it. And just use my pins and just start pinning. With the satin fabric, you do want to <laughs> use quite a bit because it does shift. So when we go to sew, you'll see I pull from the back and stretch in the front. So once I get this side pinned down, then I'll start again in the center. I'll just show you now. And I'm going to bring this piece up and I'm going to pin it right here. And I'll just do this one. I'm trying to make sure I have this seam open. Okay. And so it's going to be kind of over and I want that because I want the accent piece to be able to come through. All right, so I'm going to finish pinning. After everything has been pinned down, now you want to sew the edges and I'll do like a half inch seam allowance. All right. And you want to back stitch first. Let's see, I'm gonna move this pin. And with this material, you want to hold in the front and in the back. Just to help guide it. So now, after you finish sewing it, you're going to want to turn it with the right sides facing outward. I'm just putting my arm through here and I'm going to grab the other end because it's so much. And I'm going to pull. And it's stitched really well so it shouldn't come out <laughs> okay and then so i have i grabbed the other end of it and now i'm just pulling Ooh, look how pretty that is all right so now this part what we're gonna do we want some of that accent pieces. And so I'll get rid of some of those frays. So I want the gold as the accent to come through. And it's going to be about, let me use my sewing gauge. See how much of this do we want on each side? It should be a half an inch. This one looks like it might be a little bit more, which is fine. Okay, so all I'm going to do now is just do a nice little press and take it down just to like get it nice. Yeah. 
press out like those seams. Just give it like a nice clean. Here we go with our center. This will be where your back is, the back of your neck. So I'm just pressing it out to see what we are working with. And we'll just finish pressing it out. Okay, so now it's time to add my information so i have one side is going to be like the name and then the other side is going to be like the degree and everything so i'm going to do the left side is going to be the name i'm just going to center it right there you can take your ruler or your measuring tape and you can measure to see oh it's a little bit off okay now let's see where that is just like an eighth inch off so let me see There we go. And that would work great. And then for the rest of it, I'm just gonna do class of, and then put this in the middle, 2023. And it's always good to say, hey, is this right? Order, perfect. So that's gonna be that side. And on this side, I am going to lay out, let's see, make sure it's even. How do I take that out? I'm gonna lay because I have to layer this. So I'm going to do this part first because it's the larger and then this will go over it. So I'll do CU. Actually, I think I want it to do the university first and then the logo. Yeah, let's do that. So there we go, because this is the same size in the font I did. Okay, University of Colorado spacing CU. And then I'll, after I do that one, I'll put this on top. And then the degree right here. All right. And I, I want to center this. So I will use my measuring tape to see where this enter is. So the center. tell it needs to go over just slightly. And there we go. And then this will go on top. So now let me take off the pen. 
what you can do, you can always take it off and put it on to see how it lines up. See if you like it. I think this one. It goes there. Before I, I wanted this to go down. That's what I wanted to do. There we go. So I am gonna have to do that one again. Cause I want it to end. So I want these to start together and then end together. In the middle, we're looking now at Middle seven and three quarters. So we're right here. Okay. There we go. Now it's time to take my little mini and Go ahead and iron these bad boys on. So in order to address this one right here, after you have the first layer on, you peel off the transfer tape. It looks like this one, maybe a little bit of Some of that string got lingering around. Just cut off some of it. You want to take the other part and go ahead and layer it. And on the CU logo, they have a white part, but I'm just going to use the satin to address that. layers nicely nothing is exposed so I can go ahead and iron on that next layer so you just want to press down and kind of move it around and then you wait until it cools down and you can peel it off and here's the final look of the graduation stole that I was able to sew and also decorate and design in Cricut Design Space. Thank you for watching. This is Naya Lee. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos.